Whoa, we're live. Stand by, everybody. Going to see if we get some viewers here. Stand by, everybody. Going to see if we get some viewers. Get out of here, Risky. Get out. <laughs> First year, all right, had to kill the mute, had to kill the audio on my computer. So we're going to try this one streaming over my phone. We'll see how this works out. Last time it didn't work out so good. It's a better camera. It's a better microphone. And, um, you know, hopefully this works out. Um, kind of want to be able to see if I can keep up with the chat as well. So hopefully, you know, y'all give me feedback on how this is working out because I'm not going to be able to keep an eye on everything. But let me know how this is appears to be working out. And, you know, maybe we'll do this on the cell phone from now on. I know it looks a little bit clicky on the screen. I'm trying to, to watch it. Hey, Bayon. So, I haven't seen him log on. But I have a saber here that's for... Uh, Bobby Susanbach. This is a TFA Graflex built out of a Graflex 2.5 and I want to talk about some of the accuracy upgrades. Number one I did a full drill shine through glass eye and that is a real glass eye. You can see the brass brass eye in homage to Shamim. I've added the Graflex tabs here. This one has red button activation. It also has clamp card activation, power and auxiliary. This is a Sloth Furnace TFA clamp card, and it has a Goth 3D designs. Uh, I'll show you the chassis. It has a Goth 3D designs chassis on it. I haven't finished the painting on this yet, so don't worry about all that craziness you see there, Bobby, but let's fire this thing up so you can see it. It's got the near pixels in the hill. Crystal chamber that matches. Oh, Bobby's here. This your graphics, Bob. <laughs> so it's awesome. Oh, and by the way. It's got motion, activation, and retraction. So you can see the NeoPixels spool down there. And um, I'm still working on the config, but the Sabre is built. The Sabre is complete. And um, Bobby, I hope you're going to like this. Uh, Mike, thanks for giving me the feedback on the, um, on the audio and video. This is you know kind of new to me. So hopefully this phone thing works out. So let's finish talking about the upgrades. I did the rivets and hollowed the rivets out on the back and also I added the I forget the name of the company that does these but I put the blank on the back to cover the holes that looks more TFA accurate and I have drilled out the clamp so it spins. I've added slotted screws here and also on the underside here this is your blade retention right here in this recess. And this is an Arkham DSC. This is actually in, by, done by Arkham. I got this from Tom. There's your razor blade plug. And there's your full shine through. And also, motion activation. So I'm still working on the configs on this, Bobby, but the build is complete. It's completely built. So that's one of the ones I wanted to show tonight. Try to catch up on the comments here. That's why I'm looking away from the camera. I'm trying to read the comments that are over here on the computer. Hopefully, Bobby got to see that. 
and I'll be working on the configs and uh, yeah I know Kenny I'm getting better at the at the stab activation uh, now that I'm used to it so next this is exciting stuff and I have two of these and now I'm not going to get to install these till much later and I don't have the blades yet but as many of y'all know I got uh, well, some of y'all may not know, but I got in on the Nerfworks Labs run of this. So everyone soak that in for a minute. Who knows what that is? This is a thing of beauty is what it is. This is the Nerfworks Lab Darksaber. Um, still waiting on the, the two custom blades that are coming. And there, I want to give you all a view of the blade socket on this thing. They are custom blades, so this saber will only work. This saber will only work with the custom blade from Nerfworks Labs. And I will not get to install these until after I move but the 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 sample runs that were installed by Obishane the blade is fantastic it's going to be NeoPixel so the blade actually has NeoPixel sandwiched in it and um, it's incredible now these sabers my guess and I'm going to send them off to get powder coated but I will sell one I'm probably keeping one but that is awesome stuff. Uh, wanted to see if anybody say anything. Can you give a quick review on Ethan Zimmer? Um, you know, Ethan, just really quick, I mean, Ethan Zimmer really helped me get started on Teensy Saber. Um, Ethan Zimmer is kind of the OG installer on open source. There was no one else installing open source savers really except for Ethan Zimmer. Um, his feedback has been spotty. I wouldn't worry that you haven't heard from him for two weeks. I mean, Bobby's been waiting on this saver for quite some time. And, you know, I email him updates when I can, but, you know, I don't, I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Ethan works another job. And, you know, just because you haven't heard from him for two weeks, I, I wouldn't exactly worry. A lot of these saber installers, and, you know, I've made some videos about this, and everybody's always like, hey, can you take on my commission? And I'm like, nah, I don't have any room for commissions right now. I mean, I'm building the savers that I want to build. Um, but uh, I don't take on a whole lot of commissions right now. Number one, because I'm in the middle of a move, which I got news about that coming up here in a minute. But n number two, because so many people, there's just not enough installers. So the few installers that there are, especially for open source, everybody floods them with requests. And to me, a bad business model is to say, yeah, yeah, send me your stuff, send me your stuff, send me your stuff, send me your stuff. Because you can get backlogged so quick in this. And you're holding on to people's property for months. You know, I have a saber here for a guy in the 501st Legion, which I don't know if he's going to watch tonight or not. <coughs> but um, I, I just can't get to that saber right now. I mean, I'm in the middle of a move. Now, his saber is definitely in my queue list. I will probably get to it. They'll be the first saber I install after my move. And it's a Corbanth K4, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, but I just don't have time to build it out right now. So my guess with Ethan is, you know, just like most of these other installers, is he's probably overwhelmed him stuff, overwhelmed himself with with jobs, and he probably has a lot of jobs. And I don't know if he installs lightsabers full time or not, but I know Ethan definitely knows and understands open source sabers. And from that perspective, if you contracted Ethan to install your saber then I'm sure that you'll have very, very good programming in your saver. Um, that's the only feedback I can give you on Ethan. I've never done business with Ethan, but I have been uh, friends with Ethan, and I've relied on him for advice. Um, I will say that Ethan was the one that finally 
you know, he was the only one that was able to get me to understand Teensy Saber. So when Teensy Sabers first came out, um, and here's a Teensy Saber for those of y'all that have never seen one. And this is actually a good board. But Ethan explained these sound boards to me in a way that I understood. And I was finally able to, number one, build them because it was a sandwich board. You can see it's actually two boards in one. Um, you know, you have the Teensy Saber V3 here on top and the Teensy 3.2 here on the bottom. And you have to glue them together with pins. And, you know, I've glued this one together with pins. And um, then programming, programming them was a whole other ball game. And um, I programmed them. And, you know, Ethan, Ethan Zimmer was dead on the money there. Yeah, Mike, you're exactly right. That you know, there's just so few um, saber installers, especially when you're talking about open source. And right now, Profi is just you know huge. We're talking Profi, so that's the new version of Teensy Saber is Profi, and this is actually a Profi 1.5, and this board is a brand new, fresh install happening tonight, and it's going to be going in. Here's the other debut. Oh, and this saber's kind of already spoken for from one of my subscribers, but this is going to be an ESB Graflex. You can see I've already got the the clamp switches ready to go there. Um, this one's not going to have a red button activation. Both buttons on this one will be false. And um, there's my install. She's ready to roll. And all that looks crazy. Um, but these are all my raw wires. Like, for instance, I know those are my switch wires. These are my Accent LED wires. Um, these are my NeoPixel wires. The blue wires there are my speaker wires. This is board negative. This is a NeoPixel negative. And my board positive is right chow. So I know what all those wires are. They're just ready to go to their place on the profi that I just showed you. And this board will be ready to install. So this is going to be an ESB saber. And you can see that I've got the Mylar tape on the clamp. This is a Graflex 2.5. I've also added the, the Phillips head screws on the grips, as you can see there. And this one also has a stamped uh, KR coin. Let me get that D-ring out of the way. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that stamping. but And that is set up just like the scene from Hoth. And this will be an ESB Graflex. And this one is going to another one of my subscribers. So, you know, no, I don't take commissions, but certainly, when, especially here lately when we're doing uh, Megtooth Monday Live videos, you know, I'll tell you, hey, I'm building these savers. And, you know, if you're one of my subscribers and you're watching Megtooth Mondays, hey, Fernando, good to see you. If you're watching Megtooth Mondays and you know I'm building a saber and you want it, you know, that's what happened with these two Graflexes. Um, oh, yeah. It's not a new camera, Mike. It's actually my phone. Last time I tried filming a Megtooth Monday on my phone, it didn't go so well. But, hey, Mike, stand by because, you know, I've got something to show you, too. And um, I really... <laughs> Here you go, Mike. <laughs> you all know what that is. So I've been busy. Not only am I building lightsabers, but... Uh, building Micon button boards and sewing hand straps on my sewing machine over there so I've been really really busy so I know that'll make Mike happy because I'll be you know ready to roll out these Micoms here shortly but um yeah if you're subscribing and you're watching the Megtooth Monday live videos and and I say hey I'm building this saber right now and I'm just building it to sale and you want it you message me and you've got dibs on it uh, just realize that these NeoPixel savers, minimum on a profi board saver is going to be 700 bucks for the saver, another 150 for the blade, and that's a guesstimate. You know, these Graflexes are going to be a bit more because there was quite a lot of accuracy upgrades that went into both of these Graflexes. This is the TFA that I've just built for Bobby Susanbach in Florida. Something about Florida and Graflexes here lately, but 
this is a really beautiful, beautiful Graphlex that I built for Bobby. Um, still finalizing the configuration files in it, but you know, it's a beautiful saber. So, you know, the Profi OS 4.7, I think we've talked about that quite a bit in the last couple of Mon Megtooth Monday live videos. And if nobody's seen Fernando's website, I'll try and post it in the comments of this video once the YouTube police are dealt with. Um, oh yeah, a lot of TFA Graflex fans going on in Florida. Um, Bobby lives in Florida and, you know, Bobby lives near the caves and Bobby's like, yeah, I hear you're a scuba diver. You should come down here and check out some of these caves. And I'm like, yeah, I do. I go cave diving in Florida. <laughs> I showed him some of my videos and he was like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, I already do that, Bobby. But, um, you know, the, the new, the new Profi OS and Fernando's blade styles and, you know, Fernando releases like two or three videos a day for the new blade style he's got coming out. And, you know, Fernando's done a great service to the lightsaber community and, and especially the OS community. Um, and I'm telling you, most of my sabers, if, if you see me throw a saber out there, odds are it's using Fernando's blade style in the main blade. Now, I still write my own blade styles for the Accent NeoPixels and some of the you know, alternative stuff that's going on in my lightsabers. But, um, you know, the bottom line is that Fernando, uh, who's, you know, FET 263, has just an incredible, incredible profi library going on that's really helpful to everyone getting into open source. There's nothing you have to code in open source. And all this stuff that you'll hear from some of the other board people are like, oh, well, you know, it's it's just not it's not worth it and there's too much coding and it's complicated there's just not a lot of coding going on oh yeah bobby said my jenny springs video is insane but um you know if you're seeing my lightsaber videos it's fernando's blades that are in my sabers and the cool part i i feel like vader for fernando fernando's like my luke skywalker to my vader um because I think I helped Fernando along a little bit on his first either Teensy Saber or Profi install. I can't remember which. And, you know, fortunately, Fernando brought some coding skill to the game. Um, you know, I was just a schmuck copy and paste and code that Frederick and Ethan Zimmer helped me along with. And then Fernando came along and started writing his own stuff. And Matt McGreary, too. And then Fernando and Matt McGreary teamed up. <laughs> Holy moly. Yep. Yep. Those two are just awesome and they've just brought so much to the to the lightsaber community. It's just incredible. I know. Yeah, I think Luke Skywalker can definitely overtake Vader. <laughs> Fernando's just he's amazing. Uh you know. And Fernando's sabers are amazing. I think if Fernando wanted to, he could certainly be an installer, but He's full-time making blade styles, so thank God. I wish there were more installers out there for open source because there's definitely a lot of demand for it. Um, thank you, Jen, Jen Roo. Jen Roo's coming in to check on me. Um, <laughs> he definitely finished what I started. <laughs> Fernando's a mess, man. Uh, I know. It's so easy when you... You like go on Fernando's site and you're like watching the videos and you're like, hey, I like that blade. Copy, paste, right into my config. Uh, it wasn't that easy uh, before. You know, before Fernando started his blade style website, basically Risky came in to see me. Before Fernando, he's going to sit here right between my legs. Before Fernando started his website, Basically, we were going on the blade style generator, and even before the blade style generator, we're just listening to Frederick. And Frederick is just so smart. Um, he's, you know, Frederick is like one of those super geniuses, like Elon Musk. He's in that, you know, Uber category somewhere. So a lot of times when Frederick's giving you instructions, you're like scratching your head, going, um, "Okay, what was that again?" Can you? Can you give that back in English? And um, 
you know, Fernando was able to take his coding skills and basically translate Frederick's brain into something that was digestible, something that was easy. And yeah, you almost do feel like you're cheating when you go to Fernando's website. So when y'all do go to Fernando's website and use his blade styles, for those of y'all that are pro programming your own profies and teensy savers, Fernando has a donate button on his blade style site. And I need to go and donate some more because I use so many of Fernando's blade styles. But, um, you know, make sure that you're help donating to Fernando's cause because I'm sure he's having to pay to keep that website up. So make sure you're donating to the cause. You know, and I don't think Fernando's looking to profit from his blade styles. I think he's really looking to just help keep the website up without having to pay for it. So that's a huge deal. Oh, now, <laughs> now Ukulele Girl came in, so Risky abandoned me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, hey, and some other news outside of the Darksaber and the two Graflexes and MyComs. So I signed the contract for my new house last week, and I talked to the mortgage broker today and finalized everything with a mortgage broker on my interest rate, which is awesome. And we close on July 31st on the new house. And, um, you know, I'm so excited to, to move into the new place. Y'all don't even know. Uh, Y'all are going to miss me during the summers because I live like not even half a mile from boat ramp. And if y'all don't know, I have a boat and summer times out here. I'm, I'm out in the, uh, in the water. I will post a link to Fernando's site in the comments after the video post, Bobby. Um, I can't post the, the link in the comment box in the chat box because it's too long, but I'll post it up here. Um, definitely, I have posted it before. You missed the premiere of the Dark Saber and some sabers I'm working on, the TFA Graflex. What do you want to see, Michael Dowling? Hey, Dark God. What do you want to see, Michael Dallin? Want to see that dark saber? The freaking thing is crazy. Look at that. Isn't that insane? <laughs> That's just beautiful. And of course, this has a custom blade for it. And the blade socket's like really weird. So this one has almost like a um, a flat uh, sword lightsaber blade, and but it's sandwiched. So there's actually there will be neo pixels on the blade. Um, actually, it's not that big. You know, it's a it's a double hander. But to me, this this hilt isn't really that big. It's big because I was holding it right up to the camera. Uh, Profi, Michael Dallin. Profi's going in this and NeoPixels. Um, nothing else but Profi. So I have two of these. One of them I'm going to install and sell. And you can pretty much guarantee that's going to be a very, very expensive saver. Um, my guesstimate, you know, because I still have to send these off to powder coating. But my guesstimate is you're looking at at least a $2,500 saver when I'm through with it. Yeah, Profi 2.2. I'm not going to put a 1.5 in that. That's going to be a top tier lightsaber when I'm done. I'll install the blades. I already have the, the NeoPixels for these. And I'm using, this will be the first time I'm using these NeoPixels, but I'm actually using RGBW, red, green, blue, white. But instead of it being just the normal white, I'm using cool white. So it's actually RGB CW, cool white. And that way you can run the blade white and you get a, a pure true white um, oh yeah it's it's comfortable to hold it's a little sharp on the corners but it's comfortable to hold um, but I'm using RGB CW and that way you'll get a true white on the NeoPixel blade but to get a true white with RGB you have to run RGB diodes at the same time and that uses uh, more battery so any of y'all that are running white blade with RGB uh, <clears throat> NeoPixels you're killing your batteries Whereas when I run the RGBCW NeoPixels, when I select white, it's only running one of the, of the four diodes 
in the NeoPixel to get the white blade so it uses less energy. Um, instead of it being like a 12 or 13 amp draw on a blade, you know, it's only going to be about a mm, 8, 9 amps. I haven't tested them yet. You know, I'll test them on my power supply. Right here. Yeah. I'll test them on my power supply and let y'all know what the amp draw is on the um, on the cool white blades. I just haven't haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, you know another thing. Oh, check this out. Look what I found. Whoa! You all know what this is? Let's see how many of y'all are nerds. That is an original land speeder from 1977. And Chewie. Oh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the Graflexes. Um, Michael, this is a TFA Graflex, Goth 3D Designs, um, full shine through glass eye, upgrade on the Graflex tabs. Um, Mike, I think they're WS2812s. I'll have to check. Um, <laughs> we'll see you, Mike. See you, Mike Perez. Um, this is the TFA Graflex Sloth Furnace Clamp Card. Full shine through glass eye. That's a real brass eye in memory of Shamim. A real brass eye with full drill through for the shine through. And it's got red button activation, but it also has clamp card activation. <coughs> You see the field And of course, this one's got the crystal reveal chamber in it. It's going to clash while I'm unscrewing it. see the NeoPixels spool down. Of course it's got a recharge port. Prop E 2.2 in this one. Um, just a really awesome saver. And it's got motion activation. It's got motion activation and motion retraction along with the button. So that's one of my builds that's going on. That's for Bobby Susan Beck, Susan Black. And then I got an ESB Graflex, which will probably get installed tonight or tomorrow. You can see she's all wired and ready to go. There's some secret stuff there. Didn't mean to show you. There's the clamp card switches. And here's the apt in with the Phillips head screws, printed uh, pommel cap. And it'll have the ESB buttons here and the Graflex pins and everything. I just haven't fully assembled the Sabre yet. So those are the two that I'm building right now. Those will probably be the last two Sabres that I build um, before I... It, it's got Profi 2.2 in it, Bobby. I went with Profi 2.2 because Frederick didn't answer my question yet. So I went with Profi 2.2 in yours. The ESB Sabre is going to have Profi 1.5. As a matter of fact, here is the soundboard that's going into... the into the ESB Graflex. It's all programmed, assembled, and ready to roll. Um, but your TFA Graflex has probably 2.2 in it, Bobby. Um, yeah, Darth Guide. So the other Graflex is tentatively spoken for. You know, when I send the customer that price tag, we will see. So, Twisted Wizardry, is the sensitivity superior on a Profi versus CFX, or is it more about the actual sound font? I have built a CFX saver just to give it a whirl, and I tried dialing in the... Oh, yeah. 
that's fine, Dark Guide. I'll, I'll I'll get back to you when you can watch the the video live. But right now, that ESB graphics is tentatively spoke for. So getting back to CFX or Profi, um, I actually prefer Profi. To me, the smooth swing on Profi is a bit more accurate sounding. Um, I just tend to prefer Profi, and to me, the blade of Teensy Saber, the whole reason that I got into open source anyway was for the fire blade that was on Teensy Saber. In fact, that's one of my videos that went viral. So the whole reason I learned how to program these open source boards was for the fire blade so I could make my Kylo Ren sabers with the fire blade. Um, so to me, the infinite possibilities on blade styles are really still what sells me on Profi, but for sound, um, the smooth swing on Profi is more dialed into me. It sounds better. It sounds almost mechanical or faked to me on CFX. There's something a little off about it, and I don't know what it is. And it could be in my settings, but I I dialed in that CFX, you know, a lot. And I worked on the config settings you know, quite a bit, and I never could get that CFX Saber to sound as good as Profi. But with that being said, I'm sure a lot of installers are making CFX sound almost as good as Profi, but to me, the blade styles on Profi push it over the edge. Um, it, Profi is the top of the line right now. I don't think there's a better soundboard on the market than Profi. Uh, the capabilities that Profi has are, you know, unsurpassed. So, you know, you can put me in the Profi bank there. Does that mean that I think CFX is a bad board? No. Um, CFX is certainly a better board for the end user. The end user can do a heck of a lot more with it with less computer skills. Um, you know, Profis can be complex for the end user. If the end user doesn't want to learn how to reflash the boards with Arduino, um, you know, CFX is a better option. But to me, the better soundboard is the Profi. Um, but the Profi is more complicated for the end user. But that's where OS 4.7 kind of changed the game there and made Profi where it was better for the end user. I'm trying to read y'all's questions again. So Twisted Wizardry states some smooth swing sound fonts sound better than others. And that probably has to do with the config settings within each font. Um, like I said, I only built that one CFX Saber, so I'm really not that <clears throat> well versed in, in uh, all, the as all the aspects of CFX, um, but I did build one CFX Saber. Yeah. I, I think that's probably a good assessment, Mike, is, you know, CFX is just ready to go right out of the box. The end user can tinker with it without messing it up whereas with Profi it can be a little bit more complicated. Wooly, do you think there will ever be a style bank that allows you to go on the blade style without changing like CFX offers without reflashing I'm assuming you're saying? Yeah so <clears throat> there already is a way to do that um, on Profi. In fact Matt McGreary SA2CC about a week ago posted a thread on open source savers group and um, blade profiles is the only thing to get you interested in CFX yeah and I think Fernando chimed in there and certainly blade profiles were uh, aspect of the, the Matt McGurry and Fernando's 2.9 cc color changing fork and they kind of fell off but I would suspect that Frederick would probably implement something like that down the line it was too limiting I'm sure there's a way to implement it Fernando um, you'll have to get Frederick time to wrap his brain around it um, but yeah, Willie, there was uh, effects scroll 
and effects change on Profi in one of the forks, and it just didn't survive to the new iterations of OS and 3.9 and 4.7. But a CFX cannot do, a CFX cannot do, I'm going to say this again, cannot, not in this lifetime, not in the next lifetime, cannot do the blade styles a Profi can do. Yeah, well, I mean, the responsive effects are awesome, Fernando. Um, look, if anybody's unhappy with what these lightsabers, what these profi lightsabers can do right now, then I don't, know. I don't know what to tell them. But I still think the blade styles and all that still win big time on profi. Yeah, well, the unstable on the profi is pretty incredible, um, Wooly. You know, and there's so many different ways to do the unstable. You know, you have Frederick's original fire blade, which is why the whole reason I got into open source in the first place. The first time I saw Frederick's fire blade, I'm like, oh my God, I need that. And, um, you know, then Fernando's taken that fire blade and turned it into so much more. I mean, Fernando's got several different fire blade and unstable blade styles. And you have to realize, that when Fernando's writing a lot of these unstable blade styles, he's also thinking about what's it going to look like in pictures because he's a member of the 501st Legion, much like me. Um, I'm DS74759, Kylo Ren in the Carolina Garrison of the 501st Legion. And, you know, you end up taking a lot of pictures, you know, when you're going to these charity gigs or hospital visits for kids and you want to make sure that your blade looks good in photos as well. So the original fire blade, there was a lot of blank spots in the blade, you know, when you took a still picture of the blade, didn't really do it justice. So a lot of Fernando's unstable blade styles kind of take photography of the blade into consideration. So there weren't a lot of blanks in Fernando's unstable blade styles. Um, but certainly the original fire blade's pretty cool. Is the dark saber heavy? No, it's really light. Michael, it's super light. Um, you know, it doesn't weigh nothing. Super lightweight. Now, when you put the blade in it, I don't know. Because, you know, the blade's going to be polycarbonate. Ooh, speaking of polycarbonate, um, something else to show you guys. Uh, let's see what this question is. Yeah. Twister Wizardry, you know, NeoPixels. All my sabers I've converted over to NeoPixels. I don't own any Inhilt sabers. Um, the first time I lit up a NeoPixel blade, I was hooked. Um, compared to Inhilt sabers, they're just way better. But stemming from a conversation that we had last week, I've got some experimental stuff that I'm going to try. Yeah, Profi is certainly tough. Look at this. You all know what that is? And that, and that. This is a photon blade. So I'm going to be making a photon NeoPixel blade to test that out. And I'm also going to be making an enhanced red NeoPixel blade to test that out. Once I get these blades built and I get them to my satisfaction, I'll sell those on the internet. That's probably not going to happen until after my move, but um, you know I'll sell those blades on the internet because I have no interest in photon blades or enhanced color blades because I like my lightsaber blades to be able to do multiple colors, not just one. So Michael Dallin, it depends on the the battery you're using. So. In my Kylo Sabers that I built, I used a 26650 battery, and, you know, those Sabers will last. I mean, I've had a troop that was four hours long, and those Sabers lasted the whole troop. Um, but these 18650s on a NeoPixel blade, you got about 50 minutes to an hour, depending on how you're using the Saber.
you know, I, I built some some pretty bright in hilt lightsabers. Um, I, I don't, I'm not opposed to in hilt uh, LEDs on lightsabers, but NeoPixels give you that evenness in the blade, and they also give you the effects, which are what sold me. Like I said, I'm a Kylo Ren in the 501st Legion, and I don't care what kind of hot glue and other crap people put on their lightsaber blades, they never look good. Whereas Neo Pixels and the unstable blade effects actually more resemble Kylo Ren's lightsaber in the in the movies. So that's really what sold me on Neo Pixels. Everything else is kind of gravy. I did not get Cal's TROS kit, um, but I saw Jeff Birch's review of it, and you know, I'm building my New Hope Graflex after I move. And that'll be my, you know, it was a complete set. So I have ESB, TFA, and A New Hope is in queue over there. And then eventually I'll have to get that TROS uh, adapter and build a TROS Graflex. That way I'll have all four gra Graflexes and, you know, my training will be complete, so to speak. But, um... How long does it take to get a Shapeways order? Um, usually I think it's been about two or three weeks, sometimes four weeks, uh, like especially around Christmas. Uh, you know, from Thanksgiving to New Year's, I would not order anything from Shapeways because they have massive delays. But usually after the New Year, you know, their backlog's not so bad. Um, you know, and through the summer, it's not bad at all. Um, seems like most everybody does their building in the winter. So winter times, I, I wouldn't order. I haven't heard if Shapeways is backlogged or not. I know they've definitely gotten popular. Um, but I haven't ordered anything from Shapeways for quite a bit. I think the last things I ordered from Shapeways were the chassis for these Graflexes. And I've had them for six or seven months. So, you know, I try to order stuff way ahead of when I'm going to need it. And that way I don't care when it comes in. And, you know, when the packages arrive, then I just put the chassis with the, the hilts that I have to build out. Hey, Chet Osborne. So, um, that's kind of my thought process on that. Hmm. Work's getting a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, Bion, I've always had pretty good experiences with them. You know, usually when I order the stuff, it's here in two or three weeks. Um, of course, I'm on the East Coast. I'm in North Carolina, and Shapeways is in New York City. So, you know, it's not that long shipping. Oof. That stinks. That your sound, you've lost sound on your saver. Um, might have just been a speaker or something. Uh, it's actually the 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 camera on my phone, which it's probably still rendering live in standard definition. But once the video fully renders on YouTube, it should be in high definition. So um, you know this is a better solution. Last time I tried to do this on the phone, it didn't work out so good. Chassis I order was for a DFS saber too. Uh, Dark Force, Dark Force custom sabers. Did you get a Transcendence? That hilt is awesome. Y'all know I love that hilt. So I, I was talking to you know they actually chimed in at the end of my last live stream. Oh, yeah. That sounds like you've lost the amplifier on your soundboard. That's called replace your soundboard when that happens. That sucks. But anyway, Dark Force Sabers chimed in on my last live video. And they might watch this. But they took their Facebook page down. And I messaged them. I'm like, hey, why'd you guys take your Facebook page down? And he said, we're revamping and getting ready to unleash yeah, the Transcendence. I, that's my favorite hilt. 
of all the lightsabers that I own, my Dark Force Custom Sabers Transcendence is my favorite hilt. And it's cheap, easy, quick, small, portable, tough. Yeah, I'm still on Max. Good to see you, Max, down under. What is it, morning time? Max just woke up? Hey, thanks for the subscribe. And I, I can't read your name because it's in Mandarin. I speak Spanish, but I don't speak Mandarin. <laughs> oh, Japanese. I got gotcha. you. Well, that shows you what I know. Japanese, Mandarin. I can't read it. Max is in the house. Max, did you just wake up? What time is it in Australia? <laughs> Max is like, boys, hey, I don't know if you guys saw these, but last I showed these on the last live video. These are sabers I got from a guy in Finland on the TRA. And I'm going to be putting Verso in this one. And I'm probably going to be putting the, uh, the other soundboard in this one. Uh, I can't remember. I can never remember the name of that other soundboard. Uh, somebody help me out. It's not Verso. It's not Profi. It's not CFX. It's Golden Harvest. That's right. Golden Harvest. So one of these is going to get Golden Harvest and the other one's going to get Verso. And I'm going to take one of these savers and I'm going to put aluminum black all over it and make it look nasty. Might even cut on it with a Dremel and really give it some wear and tear. And that's going to get Verso, and then that's going to get a Golden Harvest. Both will be NeoPixel, and I'll be able to test these things out. So I'm kind of looking forward to making those happen. Those are custom sabers from Finland, and I got them from a guy on the TRA. They're from Finland, so they're awesome. <laughs> I don't want to say. I got a really good deal. Um, they were very cheap. The guy probably sold them for too cheap, but I think he's probably trying to get some word out. That's why I bought them. Because <laughs> they were so cheap that, uh, I don't know, I mean, buying scrap aluminum probably costs more than those hilts. Chet Osborne said, you can never go too far on weathering. <laughs> uh, did you see my first... Um, uh, I don't know, Max. Let me try. Stand by. We're going to try and link. Max wants a link on TRA to the thread. Let's see here. I will try to find a link. Y'all stand by, I'm trying to find a link for Max. Oh. Well, there's one of his. Let me go to the next page. Yep, I found it, Max. Stand by. Now, I don't think he has any more of those Max, but there you go. There's the link. Oh, let's see. Make sure I'm caught up on questions. Yep. Chet Osborne, were you stalking me on TRA? <laughs> yeah, it's Vector. It's Vector on TRA. So... 
Gray Dog. Do you have a Weimariner? Is that why your screen name is that? I have a Weimariner. Of course, he's a traitor right now, but I have a Weimariner. Um, what chassis? So what you need to do is you need to take a set of calipers like this. And you need to measure the inside diameter of your hilt. Once you have the inside diameter, then you can go look for chassis. So I don't know what to tell you. It depends on what the inside diameter is. Um, is it possible to have the flash on clash effect feature changed so that you can activate it via button press on a Profi 1.5? I don't think so. I think the flash on clash is just activated by clashing the saber. <laughs> That's awesome, Grey Dog. Ooh, Birch raised ten thousand dollars for his son's service dog. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is hashtag nerd up moment. That is awesome. So yay team for helping uh, Birch. Oh, Juan Carlos Guardia is in the house. And Mundo Cabrera made it in. Hey, Mundo, did you get my answer on the Facebook group? That's awesome. So thanks, Max, and everybody else that, that helped uh, donate for Birch's son to get the um, service animal. That's huge. That's awesome. What a great community we have. What a bunch of awesome people. Um, I don't know if you all also seen it, but... Um, Jedi Padawan Melissa, <clears throat> we're actually building a lightsaber for her, and she's uh, visually impaired. And she has her own YouTube channel, which is linked on the TRA space. And she was actually on Space Windows show the other night. And, um, you know, we're building a saber for her on the TRA, and I actually built a blade. And the blade for her saber is on my YouTube video, and I'm so excited for her to get her saber. That's pretty awesome. It's just a great community that we have here. Yeah, no, I saw him and his kids, him and his two sons on together, and that was huge. That was awesome. I was smiling ear to ear the whole time, uh, you know, and for Connor to get the assistance dog, I'm sure would be some relief for, you know, Jeff and his wife. Uh, you know, I can't imagine going through what they've been through. You know, that's really tough. But, um, hey, I haven't even eaten dinner yet. And we've been on for almost an hour. We're kind of running out of stuff to talk about. So this video will be live here uh, shortly. I'll publish it on the channel. It'll be on my live videos. And, you know, thank you everybody for tuning in. And tune in next week. I'll try to be on next week. And we'll answer more of your questions next week. So if I didn't get to your question this week, save it and fire it back at me next week. And hopefully we'll get it. But um, had fun tonight. Learned a lot. Was glad to be back. Bobby got to see his lightsaber before he even gets it. I'll try to do some Facebook Live videos uh, on your saber, Bobby, to show you kind of where it's at config-wise. Um, but we'll we'll do a, a full video that'll be on my YouTube channel. That'll have instructions and everything else too. So, like all my sabers, uh, that's another bonus you get from me is instructional videos. But thank you everybody for tuning in as always. If you like my videos and I'm giving you something positive, then please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you get notifications when I'm going to be live. And um, I look forward to these every Monday. Good night, everybody, and bring your questions uh, next week if I didn't get them tonight. And thank you, everybody. May the force be with you. Now I don't know how to shut this off. <laughs>